She's the 15th finalist competing for the title of Home and Family DIY Star. And she's from Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome, Leanne Lee, to our home. Well, welcome, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so I'm much for having finalist. me. I love you. You know, a lot of DIYers, they go, oh, I've been doing DIY my whole life. You, you almost had to in your life. Yes, I, mean, was... I, I have almost been doing it my whole life. So I was raised by my single father, and we lived in a one-bedroom apartment. And, uh, you know, we had a couple pieces of furniture, a mattress and a barbell bench. And I can remember we would a eat. A barbell, like a weight bench? Yeah. My dad Good would lift dad. weights in the morning. <laughs> you know, he's single. He's yeah. trying to get a woman. Sure. And then we would eat dinner on it at night. And so one day we were sitting outside the apartment complex and a moving truck goes by. And there was this beautiful, or in my eyes, the most beautiful table and chairs I'd ever seen in You're my what, life. You were seven? I was eight, eight, eight years, years old. And I looked up to him, and I don't know if it was in disbelief or hope, and I said, can we take that home? And we brought that home, and the picture that they just showed was me at eight. That was the table and four chairs. And that is me. I took a can out of the trash, and I was hammering nails in it, and I put a candle in it. And my dad and I sat by candlelight and ate oh, on that table. That's your first Whoa. table. It was your first, first dining room table. And I've been hooked yeah. every Ever since. Were your neighbors still looking for the table when they I, moved in? You, I, no. think they were, I think it just fell off the moving it truck. I didn't mention truck. that I actually took it from oh the moving truck. Well, no. And how many reps is he up to now? Just you know, he did find a wife after that. Yeah. So oh, good. it's all good. A happy ending. Yes, happy ending. it all worked out. Natural. So we want to look at the tape that brought you here. Yes, thank you. Just, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Leanne from DivaDIY.com, and I would love nothing more than to be named Hallmark Channel's Home and Family DIY Star. This was your husband's shirt earlier today. I just destroyed my husband's shirt. <laughs> We're going to put a cute little cushion in it once we get it finished. And look how sweet for a little dog bed. That's going to be so cute. And you made art, too. Let's and I made art. Art. Yes. I just want to show this real fast, then we'll yes. move on. Art. Five oh. frames. We spray painted them all different colors. And those are the tricks of the trick. trade that nobody tells Rapid you. There you go. go. And you're going to look like, I mean, you're going to look like Martha Stewart. I love it. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Other people's trash is your treasure. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Wonderful. And today you're going to show us how to upcycle a, a dresser. Yeah, we're going to take an IKEA dresser. I picked that because it's got good bones. You know, when people think about making furniture, a lot of times what scares them is they don't have a woodworking shop or they don't have all the tools. Well, this is taking the basic bare bones of an IKEA dresser and just embellishing it to make it your own. So, wow. well, you got started on this earlier today. Yeah. I did. Take a look at what you did. So we started by removing the kick plate and that allowed us to put a foundation board in to hold our legs. And so then we took the, we removed the drawers after we got the drawers out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they're doing here. We're taking the drawers out and then we spray painted it. Mm -hmm. After we got it spray painted, we took the drawers off, we removed the knobs. We taped it off because I'm staining the front and I'm spray painting the inside just to give it a finished look and I didn't um, want to get the spray paint on the stained part. Yep, yep, yep. So then I pulled the tape, I got my favorite color stain which is espresso, it's a gray brown which I love. It's a penetrating stain which means once it sets in there you have to wipe off the excess or it won't dry. So then I did the same things to some little lattice strips. You could also use five gallon paint paddles. That was pretty quick too with that yeah. too. Oh, absolutely, it was yeah. so quick. Then I just used a nail gun, some three quarter inch nails. I put one at the top, one at the bottom, split it. I divided it out here just evenly. And once I got, what was cool about that, I think, is that it made it the illusion of all those different drawers. Looks like drawer fronts. Yeah, I just right? realized yeah. that. Yeah. That's how you did that. So then I took a little piece of cardboard, made a template, did the little knob or the holes wow. for the knobs. Now the knobs, that's what's the cool thing, is they're all different knobs. You're never going to find 30 of the same ones, so go to like a restore and find them. And then paint them all one color. That kind of unifies them. Mm -hmm. Took some vintage metal labels pilot hole, screwed them in, and then we were able to make it look like a vintage oh, matte. That, that, that is so cool, yeah, cool? right? That is, that is really cool. So, I, I mean, yeah. we're all fighting over it. So, <laughs> it and, and, and that's great. That makes me so happy when I make something and you all love it. A so. trick for painting the knobs mm -hmm. at all? or just? Absolutely. So all of these were different colors. And so I took a two by eight board and drilled some holes in it. And then I stuck them all, you see, upright. And then I could spray paint all of the different colors. So I'm taking all different types of knobs, but unifying them by making them all one color. Yeah, because you spray them 
then you go, I gotta lay it down. No, I can't. I have to wait. Well, for yeah, you gotta side. do one side, yeah, and then you gotta, you gotta flip, flip it over. And I did the same thing. I made yeah. holes, and I did the same thing for the legs, so that I could stain and spray the legs all at one time. So what's, right, the last? So what's our final step? Okay, so the final step is these are dual top mounts, and what I love about that is you can either put the legs in straight, or I like mid-century modern, so I did so the, the angle. angle. So I've done three screws. I need one more screw okay. in that corner. Okay. And then, Christina, will you put my last leg I on? I'd love to. Okay. I'm on my last Perfect. leg. There you go. All right. Got that last leg. Yep. Don't we have a leg joke, Mark? Yep. She's, she's got a leg up on me. A leg up on me. Awesome. It. It sets me up, too. I know, right? right? Isn't that in, perfect? She does her right. crafting and then yes. she sets I up set the you host. up. So if we could flip okay. it over. Flip right. it. I've got a little surprise for you that you didn't see earlier. Uh oh. So it has these little vintage label holders. And so what I did, here's the last one, if you could put that in for us. Sure. I actually made each of you a drawer, and I made oh. one for home and family oh. as well. So. Okay. If you look, let me get it lined up. I gotta get it lined up. Get it lined up, up. Oh, get it lined up in oh, there. There we go. All right. So this one says home and family, and then it's our craft supplies, and then oh. Christina has a drawer, oh. and Mark has a drawer. You have a drawer How, that won't work because she can never fit a pair. I of mean, shoes I in feel there. like we all live together now. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, all yeah. have a drawer. We all right? have a drawer. That's fantastic. How much? Thank you. So, Minus Christina's shoes, how much? Right, a little less than $70. And I think, wow. honestly, you could sell those all day long for four or $500. That's I think beautiful. Oh, by the way, this elevates the, um, the, the legs? Yes. So I would recommend if you have small children, we've changed the center of gravity a little bit by elevating it. Yeah. So maybe take a, a, an L bracket or something and attach it to the wall for just safety? for safety. For yeah. safety. We reasons. do it here in California anyway because we At, never know. Yes. You never, and I worry about you. Yeah. Jumping on yeah. it. Yeah, I you do. Know. Then I have one leg up on it. Right, like exactly. That there. Now I got a leg Congratulations. up on it. Congratulations. This was wonderful.